Francisco Pizarro, Captures Inca Emperor Atahualpa Francisco Pizarro, the Spanish conqueror, captured Atahualpa, the Inca emperor on November 16, 1532. On that day, Francisco Pizarro set a trap, and succeeded in defeating thousands of Incas even though the Spanish army only numbered less than 200 people. The Inca king, offered a chamber filled with gold and silver in exchange for his release, and Francisco Pizarro agreed. However, after receiving the ransom, Francisco Pizarro did not release Atahualpa. Atahualpa was executed on August 29, 1533. Francisco Pizarro, was born around, 1476 in Trujillo, a poor area in Spain. When he grew up, Pizarro heard stories, about the New World, and wanted to go on adventures to seek his fortune. He has joined explorations in Colombia and Panama. Pizarro heard a story, about the gold-rich Peruvian region, and was then interested in organizing an expedition. In 1531, he landed on the coast near Ecuador, and founded the first Spanish settlement in Peru a year later. Pizarro left the settlement, on September 24, to carry out the conquest with the 200 people he brought with him. After arriving in Zarin, Fernando de Soto, the conqueror who was part of the expedition, was sent to the Peruvian garrison in Caxas. A week later, he returned with an Inca envoy, and an invitation to visit the camp of the Inca king. Pizarro then arrived in Cajamarca, on November 15, only 110 infantry, 67 cavalry, 3 rifles and 2 small cannons, falconets. Pizarro and the Incan king Atahualpa, promised to meet the next day, in the Cajamarca Fortress Square. After Atahualpa learned that he was ordered to pay tribute to Emperor Charles V and embraced Catholicism, he refused. Pizarro decided to attack the Inca rulers. With an army of less than 200 men, Pizarro bravely attacked Atahualpa's army of thousands. Previously, he took lessons from the conquest of Hernán Cortés in Mexico, namely by capturing the king. Using firearms, and cavalry, Pizarro managed to create terror, in the midst of the Inca army. The Incas panicked because they had never known firearms before. Pizarro managed to capture Atahualpa, and destroy the morality of his troops. Pizarro felt Atahualpa was more valuable if he lived. He held back Atahualpa, while making plans to conquer his empire. Atahualpa offered a room full of gold and a ransom as a ransom for his freedom. However, after receiving the ransom, Pizarro did not release him, and instead accused him of fomenting rebellion. By then Atahualpa had played an important role in pacifying the Incas. Pizarro considers Atahualpa useless, and will be executed by burning. He is offered forgiveness, if he is willing to convert to become a Christian. Atahualpa agreed, but he was executed on August 29, 1533 by strangulation. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.